I told Jack, I said, this is my Jack body piece. It's, it's very much inspired by this music. It was written right after I took a trip to Yunnan province in China, south of Yunnan, which borders Laos and Vietnam. And, um, it was a really colorful trip, wonderful, I had a great time. And I remember this particular moment when I was taken up to, uh, to a mountain by um, by a Hani, a Hani person. Hani is a, is a nationality in in in, in Yunnan. Uh, he makes this famous tea called Pu'er tea. He grew this tea. Pu'er, P-U-E-R. This kind of tea is very. It's kind of heavily fermented black tea. Um, that's uh, that comes from from Yunnan. And um, I was introduced to, to this person, and he was so friendly. He said, I will take you to, to my house, and you can see my tea farm, uh, and I'll treat you my tea in my little tea house. And going up, this, he took me on, hi on his motorcycle. Mm. I sat in the back. It was a beautiful day, and going up this and this um, is such a wonderful excitement, and there's a, and that that's. I was on the way up, and I thought, okay, there's music in this, this kind of uh, excitement, you know, and it's such in such a wonderful place, and with such wonderful people and the speed <laughs> of the motorcycle and on this rather rough road going up. That whole experience sort of triggered something. First one is called uh, Bastros, so very busy and um, quick and uh, fast and loud. And actually, a lot of it sounds quite bluesy, the mode and uh, the, the way. But uh, I always like to find this kind of um, um, equivalence or similarity between different music and um, in Yunnan, this minority people, they, they are singing, as sometimes so bluesy, and with their plugged instrument like guitar, with these notes, that's blues notes, this kind of thing, and this kind of um, metallic nasal sound of their instrument, and they're singing, um, very similar, even though very different also. Uh, and the second movement is very much like a love song of that region, particularly of the Dai people. Dai people, the Dai people is really like the Thai. Thai people, the exact same dress, same food, same, same custom. It's just a branch from the, the Thai. Um, and their folk music has that kind of, um, that kind of melodic way, very gentle. Third movement was <clears throat> again something extra musical. Is when I saw this funeral um, procession in the countryside, 
um, not in Yunnan, but in, in Sichuan, where it's a, there is a loud band playing very upbeat music, and then there are other people, or relatives of the deceased, following and uh, um, crying. Um, so there's this contrast between these two. So I call it counterpoint. So there are two material working at once. One is this long, um, sorrowful, soulful melody on the cello, helped with the piano. And then there's a violin played backstage, this very fast kind of folk, folk tune almost happy tune. And so this two superimposed, a little bit Ivesian if you like, <laughs> this kind of uh, encounter by chance. They, they are written so that uh, they could play on their own uh, without worrying about uh, being together. But it's, they just know where, where to come in and where to stop. So it's sort of a chance counterpoint between these two uh, musical ideas two moods, two emotions, two completely different uh, sphere almost, uh, and, and happening at the same time, making this. Last movement, it takes the ideas from the third movement and the first movement, and it's a, it's a one big build up to, to, to the very end. And that re I relate to the motorcycle ride again, this kind of excitement something to look forward to with this vibrating energy. back together and um, yeah they do it really well really well last week like two weeks ago when I heard them I thought wow the performance really really grew uh, and it's so wonderful to see that when when they take a piece and perform it many times and it, it becomes part of them um, and compared to the first performance the first performance was already very good but it was on a different level two weeks ago so I it was it was a thrill to for me to hear it again live. 